India's economic performance and its future are, in short, very bright. Uh, before the global financial crisis, India was growing at the rate above 9%. And of course, during the crisis, there was a slowdown. But uh, more recently, the growth has uh, picked up to uh, close to 9%. And uh, over the medium term, we expect that India will continue growing at a pretty high rate. Uh, inflation has been uh, certainly one of the, uh, the concerns we have had about India's uh, uh, economic stability. And until some time ago, uh, inflation, measured by various indicators, uh, was uh, double digit. Uh, it has come down to a high single digit more recently, partly because the um, High food prices uh, caused by the, the bad monsoon rain last year is dropping out of the sample. But still, we see uh, a pretty strong underlying uh, inflation pressure still in there. Uh, uh, Reserve Bank of India, which is in charge of monetary policy, has taken action starting from uh, late last year. Uh, so uh, monetary policy has been appropriately tightened. Uh, however, uh, in our view, uh, there's a possibility that uh, more action, further monetary tightening action may be needed to contain the uh, uh, high inflation. Uh, India's poverty has been declining thanks to a uh, very rapid growth, but still the level is high and India has a long way to go. Uh, to cope with this issue, Indian government has been rolling out and planning to continue to roll out uh, uh, ambitious social programs, number one. And number two, uh, they are uh, emphasizing the importance of infrastructure investment as a bottleneck of the, the future growth. And you know, without future growth, employment won't be generated, and then poverty reduction does not uh, happen.